Everyone, I want to uh, welcome you to another episode of the uh, Monday Update, Season Two. Um, we're gonna we're keep going on demo, and we've got we found some things we're gonna share with you just to kind of keep you in the loop. Um, but first, we're just gonna put up some pictures. You'll see of the choir loft has continued to kind of come down. Uh, there's really it's really just frame right now. There's not much there. Uh, and, and what's, what's left uh, has to be there because we found a structural issue with the beam. And so we have that, and we have a picture of that, I believe. Yeah. Uh, and there, it's, it's uh, braced up with a, with a pole, and then uh, you'll be able to see the crack. And, uh, but to just today, before the, meet, before the session, uh, I received the prints on the, from the engineers and on the repair. Nice. So, so, so good, another progress. It's always right, a good thing exactly. to keep seeing progress. And so then we can then we can take the rest of that thing down the side because awesome. we've had to hold because we weren't sure structure what that would do. Yeah, so. yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, I know that beam. I'll I'll we'll definitely put that picture up because you can just remind everyone like there was a crack that went down the kind of the support beam and it didn't go all the way through, but it did look pretty much all the way down. Right. Um, so we're kind of blessed to have found that now instead right. of in a more tragic area. And it seemed to be fine, but. It's really great. We found well, it was a main beam. Yeah, a, a big structural, probably twelve inches uh, by four or five. And uh, if you recall, there was a, there was a balcony bounce. Mm -hmm. So you wonder if that may have been part of. Maybe put part of it. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah, no, that's the kind of the benefit of we're finding some stuff right. in there that's going to really make sure that our our church is uh, structurally safe and sound. We also got um, some more pictures we'll put up of the ceiling coming down, kind of peeling yes. away. You know, we talked last time about. There's this fabric, like they it looks like they painted and then sprayed this kind of insulation fabric up top, and that's been really hard to get off. It has. We've had um, we've had several folks in experts that do this kind of work, and, and with our decorative paint as well. But uh, there was a bubble on the uh, southeast side of the church, and one of the pictures shows that as being yeah. I'll put that up when we're talking being, about that. Uh, that. That covering is off, and then. There's also another picture where it shows what we tried to do to, if we could paint it or try to take it yeah. off, whatever. But that there's a there's a film, or there's a coating in there that we thought it was actually a fabric, but it's not. It's a very hard material. When but when you feel it, it feels like felt. Yeah. And uh, it was apparently this acoustical material uh, was a very very hard uh, material painted on there based on this material put over it. So. Yeah. And getting it off is a real bear. Yeah, no, at first we kind of thought it was like uh, almost like a wallpaper-esque right. thing, but it's really much deeper than that. It's right. not, it's it's really fused itself well. It's fair, yeah. And uh, so, well, since it's fused that well, why don't we just paint over it? Well, yeah. it's just not that simple. Yeah, yeah. And it's, so. Well, that's the thing, like if it, we painted over it and some moisture got behind it, that's just like with that bubble form, it would peel away at the deck of the painting. Right. So, so what they're going to do is basically take industrial steamers, they're going to try to get some moisture in behind it, and they did a section. So we'll toss yeah. that picture up yeah. to show you that like there we've got a plan, they're going to do it, and uh, you know it came in um, right at budget, and so right. it was really, really right. awesome. We were very, yeah. very happy about that. Yeah, <laughs> very, very fortunate. Very nice, so. Yeah. And so we'll put those up, yeah, so it, it's rolling. But then, um, then we kind of hit a snag, though, because what's happened is um, we've they cut a patch out of the ground, out of the uh, floor to put in a footer for the new wall that's going to go back to our new gathering space, which is going to be really awesome to have and really beautiful. And um, I'll put the picture up. Uh, we found out that you know we've always known that tunnels are a problem, but we found out they're a bigger problem than maybe we thought. And so what happened, it looks like, and you know, correct me if I'm wrong, we have these tunnels and they're about two bricks thick, which one, we couldn't see that until we removed the limestone cap. Right. But then two, and I think this is the bigger problem, is we found that, that that limestone cap only goes over the bricks about half a brick. Right. And so if it had extended all Six the way across, yeah. yeah. But you wouldn't be talking about it. Right, that. it wouldn't have been a problem. But the problem is, is if that outside brick collapsed or if it continued to deteriorate at the rate it was right. those tunnels would have buckled and the floor would have would have right. probably cracked right. potentially done even more damage so that's big right. um, that's real big but um, we're, 
we'll keep praying for that. <laughs> yeah, and we, have, you know, we have a plan, and that uh, in that tunnel, you know, we've we've been we've been working on the tunnel for years because yeah. there's been moisture. You know, and there's no there's no spring and there's no water leak in there, but it's but the ground, the moisture. Yeah. You know, and those bricks years ago, they they used different types of bricks for interior structures, mm. and they they are softer. Yeah. Well, and we've had we've had a lot of flaking mm -hmm. of those bricks, and, and those top bricks. When we took that plate over, that that limestone plate off, you could see that that top brick was deteriorated. And, and like Father mentioned, there was uh, that one that one limestone cap was there, there really was maybe an inch. Yeah. And at some point, that would be a major problem. Yeah. And we we had a lot of engineers in here, and we studied. This thing very thorough because we thought, oh gosh, what what if it's? I mean, luckily we did it because when we cut when we cut the hole for the foundation, it happened to be alongside the tunnel. Yeah. You know, so we anticipated seeing that limestone cap right, when we cut in, it, right. but we didn't find it, which is kind of what That's triggered right. all of this. If we had right. found that limestone cap, we wouldn't have made a second cut to see where that limestone cap had ended. Yeah. And when we found out that limestone cap ended only about two inches into brick that's crumbling, yeah, we that, knew yeah. we, we couldn't put just we couldn't just put that back and pretend like we didn't find right. that. <laughs> we don't think yeah, it may be okay for Oh I didn't know my collar and gosh they I gotta I gotta oh, get yes, priest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Make my self official, <laughs> yeah. So imagine yeah. if Hollywood can't fix that. <laughs> but anyway, sorry, sorry, now I'm dressed. Yeah. Anyone anyway, can put a comment. But it, it's 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 a good thing we saw, you know, we knew we knew what we knew, but we didn't know yeah. we didn't know that limestone cap was that sharp. And uh, all the experts, you know, we thought, well, we could go ahead, and it'd be fine for a few years. But eventually, that will start to give, and our floor could crack. And we just couldn't, you know, in our in our hearts, we could not proceed because if this has a problem in five or ten years, yeah. and we've done this whole major renovation and didn't fix something that fundamental, yeah, shame on us. Yeah. So that's really where we are. We, uh, and you know, to the one of our primary uh, goals or objectives with the with the uh, church was to quiet. Have a very, you know, our systems were pretty noisy before. Yeah, those vans. And, and so those one, vans, yeah. one of our one of our objectives was to have a, you know, to have a good sound system. And you know, noise is a is a very is a problem with with. Uh, was sent with a new sound system, so we addressed that, and that's a very complicated system. We, we, we worked, we had to design that system based upon the limitations of the tunnel. But we're talking right now about the uh, heat and cooling system, the HVAC yes, system. That's right. So we've got the sound system that we're putting in there, and kind of our sound engineers said, hey, like, I can make the best system in the world for you, but because you have those kind of heating coils and those fan units inside the church, they're going to be loud. They're going to be running. It's going to be kind of like white noise constant in the church. So we designed a really complicated, a really good system, right. but a complicated system that was going to run much quieter. And so that's kind of what we're talking about. But now that tunnel, we everyone said that when we sat down, if we get forced air in there, like we do in every house, that's going to be key. That's going to be the best options and run more quiet. Is that, is that what kind of where you're getting at? Yeah. Yes, and, I, and I think the, the thing is with the with the HVAC system, the sound we, we could design the most expensive, the, the best sound system in the world. But the but the engineer said, unless you address the background noise mm -hmm. of the fan coil units of the current system, yeah, you're not gonna you're not gonna accomplish what right. you did. So that drove us to the design that we have. But we had so many limitations because of the size of the tunnel. Yeah. So. What that what addressing a tunnel lets us do is to relook at our HVAC system to, to get it to more maybe more practical. Yeah. In view of, of having it having it you know the tunnel it goes away or gets addressed. Yeah. And uh, we well, don't have the limitations anymore. Yeah, and we don't have everything engineered yet, and we're trying to figure out a solution. We've got some really well, and we have a great team. We've right. always had a great team between you, um, Bill, Michael, the architect. Um, it's been really, a really great team to have you working on this, but yeah. So this kind of, it as much as it's a problem, it, it, as I like the way you kind of described it. It's a paradigm shift in the building because yeah. we were limited based on um, we couldn't run duct work where you 
for, put forced air through because the tunnels were too small. There was an uh, original plan that said, let's dig out more tunnel. But then we kind of knew like, well, the bricks are kind of, you know, we had some ideas about putting drains in the exterior to see if we can get those bricks to dry out. And it wasn't, fundamentally, those weren't the problem. We thought, well, the tunnel's gonna hold itself up, right? We, no big deal. Um, but it was too small. It doesn't extend everywhere in the church. It only kind of is on, um, it's not in the sanctuary, so like we had to do things there. And so this is gonna kind of open it up where we can put that forced air, and we're gonna run duct work under the floor. Well, I mean, fundamentally, we're gonna have to tear the whole floor up probably, is the, kind of the end of it. And, um, and some of that's because we could have tried to save sections of it. That's gonna be the most painful part, I imagine, once we start seeing some pictures and that being dug out. But I was kind of, to put it bluntly, like it's the floor or the whole church. I mean, yeah. you know, at some point I'll, I'll give a floor to save the building, you know? Right. And it's not, it's just not mission critical. Like they said, we could, we could have, the engineer said, you could put a cap back on this and you could come back and revisit this in 20, 30 years. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, they right. Said there's no guarantee. No, there, yeah, there, there, will be, there will be an issue at some point. Yeah. Right? And, that's, and that's when we, we, you know, I think we kind of circled up and said, like, look, we, we do have a contingency, so we're going to be praying and asking for prayers that this falls within our contingency. Um, this falls, it's going to extend our timeline to about for uh, beginning of December of 2022. So we're seeing, we're looking at a, you know, a six to eight week bump in our timeline. But we can live with those things. What we couldn't have lived with was saying, let's just forget about it and cover it back up. Yeah. 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 You know, and, and, uh, you know, we really, uh, I mean, we knew, for example, the tunnel, we knew what we had until we cut into it. Yeah. And that's when you really, that you don't know until you get into it. But, you know, on any structure that's 140 years old, uh, I mean, we have good bones in this church. Yeah, we do. Yeah. You know, so this is, this is not to be totally unexpected. Yeah. I mean, it just... Yeah. Well, that's the thing, you know, we've talked, like, really, it's... If that limestone cap had gone over an extra six inches, inches. we would have been fine. We would have found it. We would have known where it was. Right. In the in the structure of the floor would not have... There would have been no fear of it caving right. or... Um, and those tunnels... The tunnels could have collapsed and the floor would have maintained itself because it would have extended past where that brick was. And so really, really genuinely, there is no way we could have found it until we cut in. Right. And I think that's kind of, like I said, we we knew something like this could happen. Well, we were praying pretty hard. It wasn't. <laughs> <Yeah, that's right. laughs> we were yeah. praying real hard. We were finding things. Well, you know, even, even I know we've had a lot of equipment in the church. Mm-hmm. And uh, we've been concerned all along, you know, can it, can it, uh, can it withstand, you know, back over the tunnels and all. So, you know, uh, when, you, when you look at, if you see that, and if that limestone cap, that, that brick would have broken, and that could, that could have broken right there. Yeah. And there'd be a big crack and a crack in the floor. And yeah. to go back in 10, 20 years yeah, it just... and, and address it, we would have to undo what we're doing. And that would be extremely costly. Right, we would have had to basically empty the church again, go back over to Kundek, right. and we're hoping that you know that's we're we're really hoping that's a once in a lifetime thing. You know, we don't. Uh, there's no doubt about it. Yeah, and so really, it's bad news that we found it, but it, it opens us up to really a lot more opportunities because it kind of forced our hand, which we're trying to find the silver lining, and the silver lining is you know we're going to get a. a um, an HVAC system that is easy, going to be easier to maintain, okay. that's going to be quieter than when it runs, that's going to, in the long run, be probably cheaper for us to maintain, to upkeep, and it's the system we, if we were building a new church, it's the system we would have put in. Well, you want to know. And we have a floor that's going to be there. And then, yeah, we're, yeah, we're, yeah, maybe that's the best silver lining. We're going to have a floor that's going to sit, be there for a hundred more years. Yeah, <laughs> probably the best. <laughs> yeah, so we don't, like I said, we don't have it all engineered. We kind of wanted to tell people, and that's kind of the hard part, just kind of share, like, hey, like, we're discovering this. At really the same time, we're kind of sharing this. You know, we're trying to make sure we've got, got enough lead on this, but... Really, we just want to know that, like, yeah, we our timeline's going to be adjusted. So now we're pushing our rededication 
we I've told them, and I think they're going to be good. That Christmas 2022, we've got to be back in this that's, church. That's what we are working on. Yeah, ourselves. yeah, and so that's where we're really praying that we can get there. And so there's a lot of timeline issues, but really, you're right. We want a floor that's going to be, you know, like, right, right. Um, that's not going to crack, that's right. not going to buckle, and this is really the best way, and this is the best time to do right. it. And it's really, you know, this is really. The Holy Spiritual thing, yeah, you know, because uh, I mean, this is really something. It's, it's a blessing that we found. It. Yeah, yeah. Because if we didn't, yeah. you know, if we hadn't, and it's kind of it's weird, like how Providence works, or if we hadn't put the the footer in that spot, yeah. if we had moved it over a little bit, we wouldn't have expected right. to see those sand, the limestone cap. That would have, you know, and then yeah. So it's really the Lord is kind of working through all this, and it's been really great. And then there'd be, you know, if something if we wouldn't have done something in 10, 20 years, whatever. Two people would have been doing this. We don't know who the heck works. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. yeah. That's How do they not find this? Yeah. Yeah. So, but so we are, that's where we're at. And, you know, so kind of pray, you know, we've got a couple things we got to pray for. Just the continued prayer for the workers, that they're safe, um, that, this, that this can be engineered, and um, things are going to fall within our budget. Um, keep praying that that capital campaign is finished up. This is, in some ways, it puts a bigger emphasis on, like, hey, like, we had some wiggle room with contingency with the fund rate, the raising ten million. We could have maybe have settled for being a little short. Now we're, no, we're at that ten million, and that's, we really need to we need to help everybody's help on that. Yeah, yeah. And so, kind of finishing that, like I said, that was for me. That was kind of my big takeaway. Was yeah, we don't we don't have wiggle room now. Right. This is going to really take up pretty much the whole contingency. Probably mm -hmm. it's going to take up. In, Anything left over was probably going to be pumped back into this. Right. But we're going to have a really great church that's going to be here for a hundred more years, and uh, we're going to have a four. <laughs> <laughs> we want that, yeah. <laughs> so, I know the saints can levitate, but I'm, I'm, we're not all saints. <laughs> but, yeah, you and me maybe could levitate, but uh, some of the other people, I don't. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. And then, um, but there's also a blessing because the scaffolding is down now. So you can see how it, the steeple looks beautiful with the new lighting. Oh, yes. Um, the new that's, louvers are in. That's been all maintained. It, it was structurally sound, but uh, did just a lot of maintenance, uh, you know, painting and new uh, you know, stainless steel screws put in the roof. And, and uh, of course, the bell tower, too, the new louvers and the clock. You know, we put a new, a new back, a new, uh, like a, like a gla plexiglass type, and then we painted so it's uh, release pops. Yeah, absolutely. it really looks awesome. And we put a new lighting mechanism behind yes. the clock yes, face, so it's right. more consistent light. It looks beautiful, and the the architectural lighting is like the perfect tone to kind of yeah. bring out the stone. Right. It's really a warm color, and we're going to take that color and also do some exterior lighting on the right. buttresses. But that's that's another year from now. But yeah. it looks incredible, and I think people I feel better seeing it with yes, the scaffolding. And, uh, we'll probably get the bells going again. Right. And, um, that's just a that's a huge blessing, and so. Things are progressing, but um, we knew, we prayed that this would not, we wouldn't have to share any bad news, but we kind of, right. kind of figured, well, it's pretty old. Right, and, and it's, it's really uh, not, not a big surprise, it's something, yeah. something like this. Right, we've been dealing with these tunnels and these bricks for a while, so we yeah. probably should have guessed, but it was, you know, if, if, I'm, if I look that good at 160, go. I'll be, <laughs> yeah, my bottom two probably would have fallen out. <laughs> But, but well, the exterior is, is really, really turned out nice. I mean, yeah. uh, and, uh, you know, when you look at it, somebody would say, you know, it really, you really can't, you know, it doesn't look like uh, there's been a lot of, it just looks looks cleaner, you know. Yeah. But, so, I mean, it, it's good that we didn't really change the exterior, but what we did was we preserved it for future generations. Yeah. That had to be done as well. Yeah. You know, so it's... Uh, yeah, that's a good feeling, and that was under budget. Yeah, no, that did that, and that really helped. Thanks be to God, that came in and helped us right. kind of shore up this floor situation because right. right. it did come in under budget. We got some money credited back to us, and uh, that I, that was just yeah. God is definitely working, but it's definitely not an easy process. So thanks for sticking with it, first yeah. of all. Yeah, <laughs> and like and keep, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, we'll, we'll get through it, yeah. and then also yeah, just keep praying um, for the project for the workers. Um, that everything's going to come in on budget. That some of the supply chain issues, you know, we have not been caught yet on too bad. The louvers for the bell tower were kind of caught, but it was only a couple weeks. 
you know, so just kind of keep praying that, that the Lord just keeps blessing us with these really awesome, um, uh, yeah, it's just, just a great team. It's just awesome project to kind of restore and keep our parish church so beautiful yeah. for, for the next several generations. So we'll keep you up to date on kind of how this continues to develop. You know, I, I, you know I'm sure there's more questions that are going to come up that we can't answer in this episode. I'm sure we have questions that aren't answered yet. Absolutely. But what we will do is just kind of keep you up to date. This is our home, and so um, right. we'll keep we'll keep praying about it. So, and cool. we got we got the right experts uh, working with us to yeah. help us address it. Yeah, we've got just got. I really can't emphasize enough, especially it's kind of you know Father Eugene and I taking on this project and um, kind of early on into our tenure. I mean, we're only still only about two and a half years in. And we do have this, just the best team working on this. We're asking all the right questions. Uh, they're they're really, really just phenomenal work. So awesome. Well, look forward to another, another two weeks. We'll get another episode out, kind of keep you up to date on this. Uh, and just the continued prayers uh, and joy it is really going to be really impactful. And if you see Alan, be sure to just thank him. Don't, don't ask him any questions. Just thank him for his hard work. If you see me, you can ask me questions, and I'll tell you you'll see Alan. So <laughs> that's all I can do. Uh, but then you can't ask him. So awesome. Very good. Thanks so much.